Hi, I'm going to be showing uh, how to remove a colored background. Uh, in this case, so the example I've got on the, in the workspace at the moment, it's one color and I have another one showing you how to use other colors. This is the workspace of Serif's Photo Plus SE Starter Edition, the free edition. You will notice some things are pinked. We're here in the toolbar on the left. You'll notice some pink things. These are the things that do not work. Uh, it's why this edition is limited. It still does a lot. And in some of these, you also photo fix. That's the, the instant photo fix. But all of these other things, okay, you'll notice in some of the filters, some of them, noise reduction doesn't work. Lens flare doesn't work, okay? None of the artistic ones work. But we're not using any of those today. So if you see something that's pink, it's a tool that won't work. If you happen to click on it, like Pressure Studio, you get the ad for Photo Plus. Now, this offers Photo Plus X4. I think they're on X6 right now. Um, once you register, and it's very simple to do, they don't require a whole lot of information. Um, with Serif, to get your free version, they will be sending you offers, and they have some very, very good offers. So if you like the program and you want to buy it, wait for an offer to come in. Okay, I've opened this picture in the workspace. First thing you'll notice here in the Layers palette, it's a background layer. First thing you always want to do is promote a background layer to a regular layer. That's because you can do anything you want to do with a regular layer. Some things are restricted on a background layer. Right click on the background layer and promote to layer. Just click on it. You can give your layer a name or not. Uh, blend ranges for we don't have to mess with any of this just click OK and you'll see now instead of background it says over here layer one now the tool we want to use in the toolbar is the magic wand tool you'll see there are tool hints that pop up and use the magic wand tool to make a selection by color looking at the options bar we want to make a new selection add to the selection we already have Subtract from the selection, sometimes we select too much, or intersect or overlap selections. Next is tolerance, which is really important. And an alias means um, you want the edges of your selection to be as, uh, as uh, straight and smooth as possible, so that's check mark. Contiguous means that the pixels that are selected have to be next to one another. So if I was selecting blue up here, and uh, let's unclick contiguous, every blue in there of that same hue would be selected. Okay. If I collect, select contiguous, only the blue pixels that are next to each other, which means right here where I click, would... Hold on. Java updater. No, Java wants to update. Okay, so we want contiguous check marked. Use all layers. Uh, we don't need it for what we're about to do here. We only have one layer to make a selection on. Now let's get back to tolerance. We have one color in here. There are no different hues of purple. It's just one, one color. So we can take the tolerance down to about 15 and just put the magic wand tool over the purple and click. That selects all of that purple. Nice. The next thing we want to do is make sure our edges are okay. So we want to do, on the select menu, we want to invert or control shift I if you prefer using the keystrokes. Let's invert it. And now, oh, let's see, we missed a couple. When you invert like this, see all these little sparklies that look like shining stars? That means they weren't picked up. So there were a few pixels in here that were different colors. Press Control D on your keyboard. And let's make the selection again. And let's increase the tolerance to about 40. Click again. Select. Invert. There we go. We don't see any of these sparkly stars. That means all the purple was selected. Next modify selection click on it 
we want to feather the selection one pixel. Contract, expand. You'll notice the little sliders in the middle. If you move it to the left, you contract the selection. If you move it to the right, you expand it. We want to contract it one pixel, so it'll be minus one. Preview marquee, that's OK. Click OK. OK, back up here, select. Invert it again because we want to get rid of the purple. And then just press delete on your keyboard. And there you go. Okay. Control D to get rid of it. And there we have a nice selection. Now what would happen. Let me go back here. What would happen if I just inverted without modifying it. Okay. Up here. Let's use the zoom tool. Control D. And let's take a look at this. And you can see there's a lot of purple left. By contracting it one pixel and by feathering it one pixel, we eliminate all this garbage that gets left. That's because you'll notice how square all these look. If they look square because they are square. Uh, photo editors work in raster images, which are made up of little pixels, which are little squares of color. And we don't want all this garbage left on the side. One nice thing too about this zoom tool, if you left click, regular click on it, it zooms in. And if you right click on it, on your mouse, you can get it to zoom out again. Okay, let's go back. Here we are. Once again, select, invert, select, and here's modify again. If you don't have a selection tool like the magic wand tool uh, highlighted if you're not using it you can still modify in the select menu feather one pixel and select modify contract it's automatically set to five slide it down to one okay and then select invert and delete and control D and we get rid of all our garbage okay now what do you do with this okay select all that selects the whole thing notice those little checkerboards that means that it's a transparent background edit copy then we can call up all you have to do down here in the photo bin is click on the picture you want to see and then edit paste and you get two options you want to paste it as a new layer up here at the top of the toolbar select the move tool move it down I want to right click okay now the second tool down you'll notice there are two at the flyout the deform tool and the selection deform tool click on the deform tool Hold down Shift and C and CTRL, Control on your keyboard. Excuse me, Shift and Alt on your keyboard. And then when you grab a corner and open it, it opens it from the middle. And then you can move it around. Because it's on its own layer, you can move it wherever you want it to be. On your new background, Shift, Alt. You can make it as big as you want to. Now this image in the middle, the little star image, uh, is a lower resolution so it gets a little blurry as I increase it. If you want to make it smaller, hold down Shift and Alt, click on the corner and push it in. Okay, that's how them apples work. Now let's look at another picture that might be a little more difficult. Oftentimes if you're doing green screening, if your lighting isn't set up exactly how you want it to be, Oftentimes, uh, you're going to get little shadows and little lighter places. This is where, let's click on the magic wand tool again. This is where it gets very, very difficult because if you have it on a, on a new selection, and let's take the tolerance down to about 25. 24 is good enough. Anti-alias, contiguous, and if, but if you click on it, you're not going to pick up all the pixels. 
simply because then you'd have to come up here, change it to add, and click multiple times. And this uh, this program actually does a very good job with a magic wand. You can see it's just about got it all now. But let's uh, end that selection. What you can also do is increase the tolerance so it picks up more different kinds. Let's increase it to about, I don't know, 90. And now if you just click once, you can see what the tolerance does. The tolerance, if it's a low number, means pick up only pixels or select only pixels that look like the one I click on. When you make it a high number, it's it, it's telling the program, select pickle, pixels that are the same as the one I click on and kind of close to the one I click on. And you can see here, it's got it once again. We want to modify our selection by contracting it one pixel. Excuse me. Um, wrong workflow. We want to select invert. And we want to modify it by feathering it one pixel and sliding it, contract it, minus one, click OK, and then invert it again, and delete. Oh, what did I do? This is what happens when you don't change the background to its own layer. You cannot delete off of a background. So let's go over here and undo. Let's right click on the background, promote to layer. Now let's delete. Yay, and it got rid of it. Now control D, and there it is. There's the mountains we've selected. Now you can add this. You can put a new background there. Let's uh, select it. Uh, select, whoops, select all. Edit, copy, we've got this one up here, click once, you can either right click, delete, or I usually just click on it to highlight a layer, I want to get rid of it, click on the trash can. Okay, let's put our mountains here, edit, paste, as new layer, and there are our mountains. Now, this makes a good point. When you're going to combine two or more images, you have to kind of make sure the lighting and everything is good. These mountains are in shadow, and if you've got a bunch of flames, you would expect there to be some bright light. So these two images actually don't go very well together. When you're selecting two images to put together, you should always try to select the images that have the same kind of lighting. So if one photo was taken in sunlight in the early morning and another photo was taken in sunlight at noon, they are not going to fit very well together because the lighting on the subjects in the photos is going to be different. And you can't really change that with a photo editor. So that's an important thing to consider when you're putting two photos together. Okay, and that's how you would green screen and that's how you would, you know, eliminate your colored background. And that's how you'd add a new background to uh, what, you've what you've removed the background from. Okay, and I hope this helps.